guys. So I'm at the airport heading home now. I'm at Terminal 2 this time, which is actually the first time. So I decided to film today. Originally, I wasn't gonna, but since it's a different place, I thought I'd take a look around and kind of show you guys as well. I spot a Jamba Juice, but I'm not gonna get one this time. PT21! I'm in the airport now. It's basically the same. Need to go find more of these screens with BT21. It's pretty similar. The other one didn't have a statue thing like that. But it had the screens on the ceiling. It's a cool statue. Close up of the statue. And here there's a toys and electronics store and I just saw line stuff and I saw some BT21 stuff here too. So I'm gonna go check that out. Here's the fans. Too bad I don't need a fan because it actually comes with a stand. Mine doesn't have a stand. Luggage tags. <gasps> I don't have a luggage tag on mine. I so should buy one. I didn't see that before. I'm pretty sure it's a lot more expensive here. buying something from the BT21. I don't know if you can see the color through the bag. I'll leave that as a surprise for later. I'm gonna do a haul in my next video, so look out for what I bought from here. These information screens are cool because they're touch screen. So let's do English. Ah, that's what I'm looking for. There's supposed to be one right here, somewhere. Anyway, I'm gonna go look for that. You can look up all these things from this touch screen. Now that I bought something, I'm gonna go explore a bit more. So I'm walking to the other side of the airport. Hopefully there's some different things over there. Maybe I'll see something else that I like. Now I found a store that has cacao friends. I don't use cacao talk as often. So I'm not too familiar with their characters, but their characters are pretty cute too. Never did buy anything from their store. So cute. garden area. So cool. So nice in here. I heard this is the newer terminal. Little playground area for kids. This looks like the end. I'm just gonna head back see if I missed anything. If not I'm gonna head over to my gate and probably just relax for a bit. These screens are cool. I wish I could get a better quality with my phone but because it's LED screens it has that little bar thing but it's still pretty it's like a little lounge area and there's some screens too I'm assuming they're touch screens and you can like look through them they have the BTS face mask here too and I guess this is what those like patch matches those patch masks actually look like so that's cool to see this you just put it in areas that you really need it. They're playing the BTS ad.
So I missed my chance to get it, but some of these carts have BT21 stuff on it. Like if you can see that ladies one over there. But there's several going around. Not all of them have BT21 stuff, but there are a few that do. Which is cool! I wish I needed a cart, but I don't need one. Found a chimney one. Do you see it? Do you see it? I don't want people to know I'm filming them, so I'm just pretending like I'm not filming the carts. Found another chimney. <laughs> they have all kinds of services here. I don't know like how much they cost or if you need to be like first class or in some sort of like mileage club or something. But this transfer lounge up here has like coffee, dining, sleeping area, showering, gym, and even a massage area. <coughs> That's pretty cool. I guess good for long layovers. We have gongcha here. I think I'm gonna get something. I haven't had one on this trip yet. So I got a taro milk with pearl gongcha. Hopefully it's good. Mm, it's pretty good. I got 30% sweet and less ice. So you can choose how sweet you want it and how much ice to put in it. I went with less just because you probably get more juice out of it. I feel like 30% is perfect for this. <laughs> this robot thing that roams around and you can like interact with it. So I'm upstairs now and they actually have a 7-Eleven here. And there's a bunch of restaurants and like food courts and stuff. And what got me was there's a Taco Bell in this airport. I can't believe there's Taco Bell. That's like one of my favorite foods back home, but I don't even know how long I haven't had it. It's probably been about a year and a half now since the last time I went back home to Hawaii. They have Taco Bell in Japan, but there's only a few and I've never actually been to one. I hear it's just overpriced for it and it doesn't taste that good so I've never really went out of my way to try it and I'm not hungry now so I'm not going to try it here either but there is a Taco Bell I just want to say that I want to point that out there is a Taco Bell and you can even order through a touch screen which is what those people are doing, are doing over there and it's like a self order so it's pretty cool Okay, so I'm pretty much done now. I think I'm just gonna go head over to my gate finally. I know I said that earlier, but I ended up walking back to the other side and looking at a few more things, got something to drink, relaxed a bit, but I'm finally gonna head to my gate. I hope you guys enjoy Terminal 2 because I know last time I was Terminal 1. So it's something different and I know not everybody films like in the airport and stuff, so you might not know what it looks like. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Miko. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. Are you happy I'm home? Huh? No, you rather just go in the kitchen. Parangi. You didn't even say hi, you just went right past me. <laughs> hey. Are you mad? Hmm. Okay guys, so I just got back home yesterday and I was gonna end the video but it was kind of late and I was pretty tired so I just kind of like unpacked a bit and pretty much went straight to sleep. So I'm gonna kind of like just talk real quick about like my trip and stuff. I'm sure you've seen all the things I've done but it was really great. It was a really short trip unfortunately. 
it was only for four days and two of those four days is me arriving and leaving so really it was only two full days but I did go out for three of the days and the last day I just kind of slept in a bit made sure I didn't forget anything and made sure everything was packed and headed to the airport because I don't like doing things before I have like a scheduled something because I'm always afraid I'm gonna miss it or be late or something so I had some time to go out a bit but I was too scared too so yeah I just kind of slept in and I made sure I got everything before leaving because of course I wouldn't want to be leaving anything behind so the last day I didn't do anything but I did some I did quite a bit for the three days I didn't film the first day but we went to Hongdae on the first day and we just kind of ate and watched some performances, walked around a bit. But that was about it. I did just get off the plane and I kind of didn't want to be filming. So yeah, I didn't film that. And I did film my second and third day. And I'm sure you're going to be seeing that before this because this is going to be after me coming back. But I hope you guys enjoyed those videos. I had lots of fun, bought lots of things. I was at a different terminal for the airport, so it was pretty interesting. I kind of walked around, toured a bit. If it was the same terminal, I was pretty much just going to go straight to my gate. Maybe look around a little bit, but since I've seen most of it like twice already, I think, I was originally just going to relax. But since it was a new one, it was a new experience, I did walk around. And I did buy something if you watched earlier on in this video. And I'm not sure if you've guessed what it was yet. If you could see it through the package, you could kind of see the color. Some of you may know just by the color alone. But I got a cookie doll. And it's so, co it's so cute. It's a plush doll. And I was thinking of getting Chimmy. Because of course he's my favorite. But I do have the big Chimmy cushion. And my second favorite is Mung, but I do already have that doll keychain. So I thought I'd get someone different this time. And Cookie's actually not quite on the top of my list, but in this doll, Cookie was just so cute. Like I couldn't pass up on him. And Jungkook is my third favorite. Just for BT21 characters, Cookie kind of isn't. I don't know why. I just, he's cute. But I like RJ and I think I like Koya better than Cookie. Maybe even Tata, I'm not too sure. I just know my top two is Chimmy and Mung. And that doesn't have anything to do with my favorite members. It's just their characters are cute. But those are my top two members as well. If you haven't already known that my member has changed. But yeah, my top three members are now Jimin. J-Hope and Jungkook. So this was just cute. I couldn't pass it up and it's a little cheaper than if I was to buy it from Japan and I don't think they always sell it. I'm not sure. I know they did have it online once and I don't know if it was the exact same thing but it was actually a lot more expensive. So I'm assuming it was different but I got this at the airport and that's pretty much it for my trip. Just lots of shopping, walking around, and just being excited that I was in Korea. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlogs. The next video is going to be my haul. So make sure you check that out as well if you want to see everything that I bought. But that's all for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye!